Brothers and sisters in Christ, through the sacrament of baptism, we are initiated into Christ's holy church. We are incorporated into God's mighty act of salvation, and we're given new birth through the water and the spirit. All this is God's gift offered to us without price. Who, brings, who presents this child to be baptized? I do. All right, JC, on behalf of the church, I have to ask you some questions that you answer for for. Um, Jensen, and that means that not only do you answer for her now, but you are responsible for helping her grow into accepting those for herself someday. On behalf of the whole church, I ask you, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin? If so, you'll say, I do. I do. Do you accept the freedom and power God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? If so, you'll say, I do. I do. Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior? Put your whole trust in his grace and promise to serve him as your Lord in union with the church, which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races. So you'll say, I do. I do. Will you nurture uh, um, Jensen in Christ's holy church that by your teaching and example, she may be guided to accept God's grace for herself and to profess her faith openly and lead a, Christ, a Christian life. So you'll say, I will. I will. All right, here's the place for you guys to follow. Do you as Christ's body, the church, reaffirm your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ? So you say we do? We do. Will you nurture one another in Christian faith and a life and include Jay, uh, Jensen now before you in your care? With God's help, we will proclaim the good news and live according to the example of Christ. We will surround Jensen with a community of love and forgiveness that she may grow in her service to others. We will pray for her that she may be a true disciple who walks in the way that leads to life. And we're skipping over to part 10 of the thanksgiving over the water. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Eternal Father, when nothing existed but chaos, you swept across the dark waters. You brought forth light. And in the days of Noah, you saved those in the ark through the water. After the flood, you set a rainbow in the clouds. And when you saw that your people as slaves in Egypt, you led them to freedom through the sea. Their children you brought through the Jordan to the land which you promised. And in the fullness of time, you sent Jesus nurtured through the water of the womb. He was baptized by John and anointed by the Spirit. He called his disciples to share his baptism of his death and resurrection and to make disciples of all nations. Pour out your Holy Spirit to bless this gift of water and Jensen who receives it. To wash away her sin to clothe her in righteousness, that throughout her life, that dying and being raised again with Christ, that she may share in his final victory. All right. Do you want to try to see? You want to come here? We'll see. Oh, it's us. All right. Jensen. Look here. I've got something for you. No, no, no. Look here. Let me see what this thing is. I need you to just carry it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 